Hi there, guys. Uh, yes, actually, I can. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, sorry about all of the uh, not noise, for that matter. Uh, so yeah, still here, still doing stuff. Actually, it was a weird situation where I got hired for a project in the middle of like just starting the thing. So hang on, uh, it'll be it'll be just a sec here. So uh, yeah, trying to figure out how the hell fiber works. <laughs> so it'll just be a sec here. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm not actually on PS4. I can be on PS4 though. I'm gonna think about why am I not on PS4? I don't know. Anyway, uh, hang on, just give me like two minutes, and I will be right back to this. Yes, I am alive. But sorry, I know. Awkward intro. It was literally like I started it. I started doing the run thing, and then just immediately I look at my phone. They're like, "You got job." I'm like, "Yes, finally income." Anyway, yeah, one sec, one sec. Yeah, I have to say, whoever put that bottle in the middle of this bridge, absolute dick, because that makes you put your torch away. <laughs> so that's a death trap. No, screw it. Where's my, where's my notebook at? We gotta, we gotta do. No, I don't have the notebook. Crap. Whatever. That's brilliant. All right. So I can't actually fight these guys effectively. Now, I am skipping a boss for the time being. Um, there's actually a guy back there that I kinda sorta need to go deal with, uh, but I'm gonna come back for that at a later time. Uh, basically, you fight that guy, you get to the swamp uh, from behind him, but for the time being, there's actually a massive improvement to the gunblade to go pick up. Namely, the fact that you can make it shoot lightning, so that's a little bit useful, just a little bit. Uh, by the way, it sound good at this point? Um, I know I was screwing around with that a little bit, so I don't know if it's actually, uh, decent. Wow, this is hilarious. Okay. <laughs> Remember the troll light? Yeah, there's the Stardust Spire, the friggin' magic spear. 
Anyway, so right over here on the left is... Yeah, that, that's going to be where we're going to need to go. Uh, also, hang on, crap. Just another side. Alrighty, can you hear me in the game just fine? Good and dandy. So we're gonna go over here to go pick up the thing. Alright, if I could climb up, that'd be great. Actually, right, we can't get this yet. So this red uh, wall passing thing, that's actually what you need to go fight the pirate guy for. So he's kind of down that way. Um, honestly, I, I tend, like, despite the fact that he's supposed to be the next boss, I tend to actually fight him, well, most of the time I tend to fight him at a completely different time, as in, like, really close to the end of the game. And gonna go ahead and uh, have a little bit of a uh, power juice chug here. So, for on the Mire, yeah, you get immediately greeted by this guy. Uh, sometimes you can attack fast enough to hit him with a roll like that, but you really just want to wait till the very end here. Alright, come on. If you stand just far away enough, uh, far uh, far enough away from this guy, you can just kind of stun lock him with the uh, with the shot, uh, shotgun thing here. Uh, also, one thing you may have noticed uh, with the golden wine, it's actually causing everything to drop ridiculous amounts of cash. So that's kind of one of the big benefits of this group. Actually, it's probably the biggest benefit. Is not only does this stuff boost everything, which nothing else does. Uh, but yeah, no, it uh, gives you just a massive cash boost, so if you're ever running a gun, uh, like a gun run of any description, it's the best way to go by far. So, we go up here, jump up here, they made the little trap here just on the off chance that you're not supposed to be here yet. Unfortunately, yeah, these little double jumps are a little bit of a pain in the dingus. Do -do -do -do. Supposed to go jump up on that thing, and then you jump up here. Not a fan of a lot of the double jump puzzles in this, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, just, yeah, with, with all the different double jumps and whatever, it's... it gets iffy. Now, do we need some smithing upgrade? Yes. Okay, so... crap. I could have sworn this guy actually came with what I needed him to. Well, that sucks. Thing is, I need, uh, <laughs> I need lightning shots, or I want lightning shots anyway. And the only place to get them is the Mountain Smiths. Uh, so it's either I betray the money folks and join these guys, or not. But quite frankly, the Golden Wine is just so much better. I'm, I'm just going to leave it. Alright, Defender Ring. Alright, come on, jump up there. Ah. Yeah, what they're trying to tell you is, yeah... If you attack a bunch of times, you can kind of do jumps that you shouldn't normally be able to make. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty useful. Okay, Black Pearl, good. That's basically it for your level up, and then you get a bell. Uh, so might as well go get my level ups in, because there's a boss right after this. A really difficult boss, for that matter. So, do I want to take off? Hell no. Alright, Tree of Skill. Where's my dex? I need my dex. All the dex, please. Do, 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 do. Just pile everything in dex. Actually, technically speaking, don't even need more healing items. Like, I was, I was considering building towards that earlier, but there's really not much of a point. Uh, just stacking dex is by far going to be the best option right now. It's like, if, honestly, the, the way that uh, healing works in this game. If you haven't already gotten your... Wait a minute. I just noticed something else. I might actually be better off killing these guys off completely. Like, it would, be lock... it would lock me off from getting lightning shot whatsoever. But... Yeah. 
Actually, no, it would only make this one boss easier. But I can't technically use them... Screw it. <laughs> Screw it, I want my wine. It's like, you dick, you desecrated everything! Like, I know. I'm sorry. Actually, I probably should have taken that level up first, huh? As you may probably see, these guys are absolutely horrible if you come back here in New Game Plus. Because then this me mechanic is nigh unusable in New Game Plus. Alright. Oh, crap. Oh, nope, not what I meant to do. So you always take out the caster first, just dodge Mr. Horsey until then. Yeah, this feels bad, because the Mountain Smiths are probably my favorite. <laughs> oh well. Right now, they're in the way of me having my buff items, and that's unacceptable. And yes, I am doing this for a minor benefit to my boss. <laughs> Just that the witch really sucks to fight. And they're done. Like, technically speaking, I like way down the line I could probably betray uh, betray the money guys too. Hmm. But yeah, we'll see. Uh, way down the line, I could betray the money guys too. Like, I think you need, I think it's like seven expunged hearts, and yeah, that is actually what they're freaking called. Um, we'll see. Um, what do we want to do here? Uh, prayer potency not gonna matter. Match potency not gonna matter. Shield block not gonna matter. Item finds okay. Match resistance. There we go. That's what I want for here. And by any chance, is there anything that I can transmute? Okay, I can get an Espinol. Not really going to be anything useful for me here. And Bloodwood 2, that's not going to be very good either. So, okay, we're just going to leave that as is. Uh, what about the Coif? Anything I can... No. No real point bothering. Okay. So now we get a level up. Get that dex going. Uh, let's clear out this menu a little bit, and there we go. Should be all good to take on the witch. Or whatever the hell else is after this. I think it's the witch. I'm like 90% sure it's the witch. <laughs> oh, no, it's the boatman. Okay, there was literally no reason for me to kill him off then. Oh, well. Well... You know, we'll, we'll fight the witch another time. I think... Yeah, I think there's another sanctuary over there. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Alright, hello, Far Beach. Okie doke. Let's get this one claimed. Killed off my favorite faction for no reason. Yeah, mountain smiths, despite the fact that they technically specialize, you know, in smithing stuff, as in they give you early access to a lot of stuff, uh, if you get to rank 2 with them early on, um, you can actually get a, a pistol from the very start of the game. Like, I considered doing a pistol-only run, uh, just because of the interesting things that that could potentially entail. Alright, this is dried. Right, in that case, let's see, let's do this. Let's add fire, let's change golden stone to, yeah, I think there's fire here too. Alright, this guy's annoying, I'm just gonna ignore him. There's Bag of Earth, that is for that one guy that was looking for his missing Bag of Earth ages ago. Funnily enough, there's exactly a shortcut later on to let you run back into him again. As in, he just lost his Bag of Dirt, as you do. Why don't you carry a sack of dirt around? And, um, yeah, completing this pyramid, 
gives you the double jump, and that thing is amazing. Like, you need the double jump, and quite frankly, the sprint up to this guy is hot garbage. Because you have to go through this secret treasure in my heart. Okay, well, fine. I think that's... I think that's supposed to be a Lion... Uh, what's it? Uh, Lion King reference? Lion King 2, anyway? Just because you've got all the stars shooting in the background, you're kind of in what looks like a savanna, a little bit. Alright. Hello there, Ziggurat. Ah, these guys suck. See if I can remember how the hell to actually get up to their platforms. Now oh, something like that. Um, upward launcher maybe? No, it's just shy of it, so I can't even get their items. It will. Got some item up there. Got this over here. Man, it. You have no idea how annoyed I was to originally find this. Because I had gone and done the entire boss run up to this point. Like, going up and down that stupid pyramid, like, I think 20-something times. And yeah. Then ultimately... <laughs> uh... Oh. Oops. Hang on. Got just one more thing here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Sorry, I just needed to adjust something real quick. Now that I've completely flubbed up basically every part of this whole setup, let's go ahead and get it done. So, so yeah, this is the boss you want to be doing at this point. Again, kind of skipping one early on, but it's fine. Because the pirate doesn't matter much for now. Uh, this entire area is a little bit annoying, though. So you need to use the torch, meaning I can't attack, period. Um, I could go back and get the charm, but oh well. Let's double check, because I know there's another mimic around here someplace. Alright, so you get the enti almost the entirety of the knight's uh, stuff at this point. Uh, if you wait a minute, that guy will run off. So that gives you a little bit more of an opening to do this kind of thing. Alright. Yeah, unfortunately, using the uh, little charm on the end of the uh, on the end of your weapon doesn't like it, it lights stuff, but it doesn't cause stuff to light up for you. Like for example, you do need the torch in order to make the stuff appear, which is a bit annoying. Now, what he does is he goes backwards here in order to get the help of his two little caster buddies back here. This guy, especially in New Game Plus, can just one-shot you. But it depends which one of his attacks he ends up using. Uh, freakishly weak to fire. Actually, most things here are uh, seem to be, despite the fact that they use fire. There we go. Get a bunch of extra money out of that. Jump up here. What you're trying to do most of the time is just gain access to different levers. You get to those levers, you unlock little shortcuts. And then that opens up the next area. So, like, right there, there's some, some levers up that way. So, that's where we're headed to. Okay. Alright, that's not the hidden wall. There's a hidden wall somewhere here. Now, where on earth is that lever? 
probably down here, and I, you know, right here, just sitting being all obvious and everything. So it just makes that tiny little bit pop out. Your double, double jumps and all that kind of thing. Uh, this boss run is relatively simple after a little while, but going through and collecting all the items uh, can be weird. <laughs> but but yeah, despite the fact that it's got some weird mechanics, I actually kind of like the, uh, the ziggurat. Huh. Alright, this guy actually damages himself. I never realized that. So we're just going to sit here a minute while he does that. I guess he died? Or something? It's unclear. Alright, there's the stone charm, that improves stagger. And now we need to go all the way back up, just because, yeah, that, that entire route was only for the stone charm. Uh, there's actually one that I left behind earlier that's uh, a pretty decent boost in defense. So I'm going to have to go pick that up at some point as well. Is this the Mimic? Yeah, it is. I was gonna say, I remember there being one more thing that killed me at least once before over here. God, those things are terrifying. Alright. There should be one more item, and then yeah, there's the, uh, the dude guy. Okay, no there isn't actually, so let's go ahead and use one of those bells. Do I not have one? Yeah, I do. Use that to get one more level, and then we'll be okay to go take on the boss. Gotta give him a second to run off, because if not, he'll just aggro and attack you right away. And I don't remember this guy's patterns at all, but I guess we're gonna find out real quick, like. Alright, let's go ahead and see about triple buffing. Do I have any more poison shots? Uh, some. Okay, not worth it. So we're just gonna be double buffing then. What do we got here? So we got some poison knives. Might as well keep those on hand. Some dragon teeth. I remember them being handy. Uh, fire pots, sure. And do you want to do? I thought that was pest mud. Never mind. We're just gonna do this. So go ahead and have a chug of this. Pop this sucker on there, and away we go. Oof, that's hefty. Yeah, I really like this boss. anymore because I'm about to die of poisoning. 
is why I said I don't really need any more healing items. Oh, crap, that moved. First try, okay. There we go. And, because I believe the golden buff was active, we got a crap load of cash out of that. Perfect. Which I think it might have expired right at the very end there. But as you can see, friggin' uh, golden buff and just just about any other buff, crazy strong. Yes, yes, King's dead. Um, no, not a dream. Can you go ahead and give me the thing now? And he's basically telling you, yeah, the reason that your character's here in the first place is for that whole Peace Alliance thing. Yeah, I'm totally sure they're ever going to show up. You, you literally never even see them, as far as I'm aware. Okay, so we got the Darbrand. Meaning that, yeah, now you can go ahead and frickin' fly. So, what do we want to do first? Want to go back for that boss? Maybe not. <laughs> you know what, I'm just going to go back here and... Uh, tag this place. Oh, you know what? Why the hell would I even run back? That actually has caused me to lose this massive hall before. Uh, yeah, calling Horn. It's the best way to do it. So, where do I go? Cram pass? Sure. Sure. Alright. Let's go. Now we're good on horns. You got anything useful for me? We just max out on flint shot. Just so I never have to worry about buying this stuff ever again. <laughs> there we go. There we friggin' go. Don't have to worry about that ever again. Probably should have bought that lantern. Oh well. Now, upgrade wise, what can we do for you? Need drawn lockets? Okay. Uh, drawn lockets are actually where that um, that one charm I was talking about is located, too. Namely, it's way, way, way back by the uh, second boss at this point. This guide then. Uh, da, 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 far beach, yeah. And I guess technically speaking, I never even have to fight the fire guy. It's like the the next plot area is actually down this way. I don't think I need to pass anything. Yeah, you need double jump to get here. That's its main shtick. There's stuff all over the place. It's not really anything I'm going to bother with, because I have everything I need to beat the game at this point. So it's just boss rush time. Uh, you do get a second, uh, second jump of that as well. I should probably point out. <laughs> so it's at this point that it kind of just turns into Castlevania. Oh crap, screwed it up. Okay. So that right there, there's two ways that can go. First of all, if you get really, really lucky and you're really precise, you can reach that ledge on the very bottom. Like, if you time it just, just right. And using that, you're actually able to get into the uh, the magic area pretty early. Uh, in fact, it's... Uh, yeah, the, the whole magic -y thing there is just a bit weird. Because your uh, your uh, dedicated like caster, uh, what's it, uh, just faction and all that kind of thing with all of your best spells in the game and whatever, they are really really difficult to get through. Um, and it's actually kind of a funny balancing act because because um, yeah, typically if you're doing like a, a hardcore run, uh, which uh, yeah, there's there's a hardcore mode that will, as I've shown before, just actually uh, make your file unusable. Uh, if you uh, if you ever die, and if you're going for one of those runs, like you'd think that casters would be the best way to go because 
quite frankly, they just, they're pretty overpowered, but yeah. To actually get into that place requires the hardest jumping puzzle in the game. So, that's a little bit of a thingy. A little bit of a minor challenge in the way. Alright, he's dead. Now you can go ahead and use hard light to get yourself down there. And, you know, I tried to pull out the torch at the very end, but it was way too late for that. And I didn't get my second jump for some reason. Okay, cool. But yeah, there's two bosses down at the very bottom here. Actually, technically three, because one of them is, is a way that you can skip to the ending of the game immediately. Like, if you time it just right, the uh, unicorns, or whatever the hell they're called, they will actually launch you straight into the ending of the game. <laughs> it's a weird bug, but it's kind of hilarious. But yeah, if you ever watch a speedrun of this, that basically skips the last third of the game. Uh, so there's always that, you know. Always have that as an option. <laughs> Alright, come on. There we go. Sometimes you gotta mash that that button. Okay, that's fine. And yeah, if you ever need to grab a ladder while jumping, doing that whole boost thing is a good way to do it. Why they even give you a blood with this late in the game? Probably had access to that thing for ages. But I guess it's there. It's there if you want it. This is that heavy armor, if I recall. Uh, yeah, it's the onion armor. <laughs> so you've got your onion armor from Dark Souls. Except they call it the potato armor in this one. It's the russet set. Love that little joke. This jumping puzzle is a dick. Alright, there's Shroud Charm. That's probably the one I end up using more than any of the others, just because Arcane is something a lot of stuff's weak to. Alright. Alright. So to the right is that big old jumping puzzle I was talking about. Uh, to the left is the next area. Oh crap, no, 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 get them away from me. Right. Yeah, so this is a difficult jumping puzzle, but skipping these freaking unicorn things, usually worth it. Like, you can make the puzzle as hard as you want. them things can basically insta-kill you at almost any level, so that's always fun. And uh, not to mention they chase you for absolutely ages. Alright, screw it. Run! Run it! Come on, don't get impaled. Okay, Ruin Temple, fine. Climb up, come on, get to the thing before they come back. <laughs> they will follow you underneath there, by the way. There's a boss up there. I don't want to fight it yet. I think there's a sanctuary right up here, or I could be completely wrong on that. I'm not even 100% sure I need to go fight this guy. And... yeah, nope. No thanks. No thanks. I'm good. Where am I? Nope, I'm not good. <laughs> I'm not good at all. Uh, why did I get myself into this situation? Let's 
yeah, the axe is the real weapon. Or the real boss. Come on, don't die. trying to menu out of it, that was just a bad idea. Alright, what I should be going, going is actually left in that spot. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. <coughs> oh wait. Cough a little bit. Uh, I hope I don't end up getting a cough, or um... Some kind of manner of cold. It's like negative 20 degrees outside, apparently. And of course, like a genius, was out there de-snowing my wife's car earlier in friggin' shorts, so... You know, maybe not the smartest decision, but... At the very least, it felt interesting. Definitely interesting not to be able to feel your legs for a while. Oh well. Right, okay then. And yeah, I like that they designed it so that you can just barely survive that fall. But you can survive it if you want. So you don't necessarily have to keep redoing all of it, you know, trying to be all precise and everything. There's a speedrunner out. So good. This part always makes me nervous. I like it. Okay, um, do we go for the boss on the right or do we. Yeah, no. No, he got me! <laughs> like I said, they, uh, they insta kill you. <laughs> Freaking spindle beasts are the worst. They're the worst. But yeah, so the glitch that you need in order to launch yourself to the end, it's something along the lines of you have to you have to be falling at a specific speed, you have to land directly on one of their spikes, and then they apparently like charge and then throw you straight through the ground somehow. Like you have to their little run has to end in an exact spot. <laughs> Alright, I'm tired of jumping puzzle, we're just gonna go for the safe area on the right. Because I got real lucky with them never charging me that first time. Andor just got really, really precise with it. need legs to run. Who the hell even designed this? <laughs> like, how, how do people commute around here? <laughs> oh, you dickhead, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to aggro this far. A little bit of wine. And let's double check if I actually need to do that jumping puzzle because I kind of get into that fort there. Let me 
Let's double check where this shortcut goes. Okay, so... Right, so okay, so through Hager's Cavern you can open up a little shortcut here, and then that one area above that I said had a red gate at the end of it. You can go through that, and then you unlock that gate, and then you basically have the Super Death Covenant down there. Uh, which, uh, yeah, if you have a Mending Ring, even on a No Healing Run, you can actually reach them. Um, not that it's really advisable to be doing that on a No Healing Run, considering their buff kind of auto-poisons you in a way. Alright, so we can't exactly do that. You only have two double jumps. Come on, Spindle Beast, please don't spindle me. But yeah, you know an enemy is threatening when they specifically can you try and glowing platforms to avoid it. What? Why didn't you grab it? That was all the game's fault. Safety strategy. Safety struts are okay. Yeah, if you want to complete Halberd Guy's little side questy dealy, you gotta, you gotta go all the way to the right. And I think he gives you some uh, Lord Orders, which allow you to complete your complete your weapon upgrades. Fan of these trust jumps. Dang it. Alright, Templar's Charm. Yeah, that's the holy one. You can vaguely. Ah, crap. Crap, crap, crap. I'm not going to try that again. Uh, you can vaguely see an opening up there. Like, there's another little doorway that you can get through. But I'm not going to bother trying to get to that again. So yeah, here's the lake. I guess we'll talk to you. And you get to the salty place. Then you get to this place, and they're all like, oh man, you need an icon here, so then we give them an icon, you put a shiny face on it, and then they give you money powers. It's good times. Alright, so I hope you're ready for one of the more annoying bosses, especially on this kind of run. Uh, I believe there's just a red wall over here, but I'm going to double check. Alright, that we'll unlock later. Diamond cluster for upgrades. Actually, no way. Yeah, there we go. Hello, shortcut. So if we need that, we can use that to skip the spindle beast entirely. guide here, because I'll probably want one later. Yeah, you see how this is 1 out of 10? Yeah, 9 out of 10 people lose this thing for a reason. Right, so we 
got that thing. So she's got a couple things. She's got a burst, she's got that thing, which is basically an insta-kill with a big wind-up to it. And... actually, hang on one sec. Let me check on my kiddo. I'm back and hell yeah! Just, uh, yeah, just got back from a thingy here, and uh, I think body training's going all right. Just had a had a pretty big success in that one. Actually, the third success in that particular project. Uh, but I'm pretty sure nobody's here to really discuss that particular subject. But still, I is excited. So I'm gonna throw these knives here just to see if I can accomplish anything with them. I believe she can actually be. Um, Poison, but I'm not sure. Yeah, she can be. Okay. Ah. Alright. So that right there is one of her big punishable things. Like, if you dodge out of the way of that, uh, it leaves her open for a good long time. So it's that one. The ball one, you can get one hit off. The uh, spark thing, you kind of just avoid and, you know, take one shot in the back. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave those knives on there. In fact, uh, no, I don't want to take a shot with Tainted. That's the one they need to double jump for. And bait her to make her attack a second time. This is doable. And now I'm remembering the pattern. Your crazy scorpion arm. Oh, crap. Ah, crap. These strange women lying in ponds distributing swords is no basis for a system of government. No, it isn't! Though in this case, she hands out stabs, so... Eh. I mean, to be fair, coconuts don't make a very good horse, either. Alright. Okay. Thing. 
Uh, you can get one gun blade shot off her on her before the fight starts. That's what it was. I'm remembering the dodges now. Yeah, like once you get your uh, double jump, I like I have a feeling this is this boss is meant to teach you the like the utility of your new double dodge. Is with this one, and like you may see in the in the uh, circle that she pops out, there's a little bit of an opening so you can jump up in the air and you can dash through it. Uh, so you get more like shmup mechanics going on with this fight. Uh, so you get uh, you get that for your circly dodge thing. I believe it's roll then jump dash uh, that you want to do. But I guess we'll find that right out, won't we? Yeah, nothing I could have done to avoid that one. Uh, when it comes to the machine gun move, actually, I need to be getting arcane uh, arcane defense up. That's what I'm doing. I have the wrong thing equipped. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, you can survive that at a distance if you have the ring for it. Uh, it's this one, I think. Yeah. Defense to arcane, and it's uh, Templar, uh, Templar that we want in this thing. That should do a little bit more damage to her. Just because she's a witch and crap, you gotta, you know, bring down the Inquisition and all that. Alright. There we go. That's what I want to see. Like, by far, her little scorpion arm thing is the least threatening of her attacks. There we go. Survived it. You can see how much defense that ring adds. Ooh, how the hell did I survive that? No, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> uh, I think I survived with, like, one health that one time. Yeah, sometimes if you do the little uh, jump cancel thing, you'll have issues. Sometimes you won't. Oof. Okay, that time there was nothing I could have done. <laughs> it's, uh, that was pretty brutal right there. Ouch. Ouch. Yeah, you gotta do the dash, like, right before you land, and then you, it's weird because you don't necessarily get absolute cancellation out of uh, whatever was bugging you. But still, you get something out of it. Like, it seems like you're given a few feet of forgiveness.
out of dodge that better. You can actually get that move, by the way. Like, the little machine gun move that she's doing. You actually can get that really early on in the game, too. Uh, specifically, it is a lightning move that you can get, and it's just as good. That's what I was saying earlier, that uh, all of the, uh, all the mage-type stuff is a bit overpowered. Um, I feel like that's doing okay. Let's try adding arcane and see what that does. See if that helps out at all. Uh, knives didn't feel like they did very much. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I don't really have any other buffs lying around. We're just gonna get rid of those. Have a little bit of wine. Yeah, Holy was definitely better. If only by three. Don't die! Uh, that's the thing, she's definitely like a like a bit of a bloodborne boss. Because your actual openings for healing are pretty limited. She's just got combos and combos and combos, and yeah, she some of them she combos them together, you're just kinda of boned. Oh well. Again, the loss rate here is for a reason. Mm. Got greedy. Got greedy. Actually, in this fight. If you like, if you were running a shield build, which, as weird as it sounds, you can actually have a build dedicated to uh, just really good use of shields. Um, you can actually completely nullify almost everything that she does. It's one of the very few cases where you either have to be really fast or really tanky. But it's everything in between that's a little bit of a problem. Ah. Wrong way. Definitely the wrong way. Though, it's a weird thing with the dodge on that one. If you go left, like, for example, if you go away from it, like, try to go underneath where it's normally firing, they, a lot of them tend to go there. So you usually just end up completely, either they, they entirely miss you, or you just end up completely dead. If you go towards where the scatter is, there's at least a chance they'll just miss. However, I'm going to replace the Arbalest with the Flintlock. Uh... It's doing 51 at this point. <laughs> Alright. Slightly different plan. We're gonna go poison. the worst. There we go. We got poison. It's not the most ultra-effective thing ever, especially this late in the game, but still. At the very least, it stacks. Practice right, 
this thing.
All right, so, and I'm back. So, uh, basically only a couple areas left now. So we've got Alchemancy, first of all. Which, honestly, I should probably just go and go and spend what I have for going through this place. Actually, gonna go ahead and do that. So we've got Alchemancy, then we got the Ruins, and then we got, um... Yeah, basically, that's about it, then. It's just the last area after that. Granted, I'm skipping a lot of things, like I'm skipping what is essentially this game's version of uh, Blight Town entirely. Um, gonna be... Uh, let's see. Gonna be skipping the Ronin, gonna be skipping the Pirate, gonna be skipping the... Oh, hang on. Alright, so I noticed something... well, I did something pretty dumb. Uh, essentially, in an effort to try and get myself a few extra points in dex, I kinda sorta... well, forgot how to use the gun sword. 
plus side, though, uh, at this point, the dex is so high that uh, the pistol should probably be doing more damage anyway. Actually, let's see, comparatively speaking, let's see, what does pistol do? P pistol does 55, whereas this does, I mean, I get, it, it does 71, but this thing fires about twice as fast. So, okay, that's fine, that's fine. We'll just do the next boss without it. Alright, these guys suck. Basically, this area is one big old puzzle area. And you got a bunch of stuff like this. <laughs> so that's always fun. Um, right, that went well. So in order to get up here, you gotta get this gate open. In order to do that, you gotta go all the way down here. Although, weirdly enough, despite the fact that I had health, I still died. Ah, whatever. That's fine. Uh, you're supposed to land on that ledge on the left. Like, it, it leaves you mostly alive. Um, there's other ways to do it, but this way works just fine. In most cases, anyway. Yeah, the only downside is now I don't have any elemental buffs on my weapon. At least for the time being. Now, there's a bunch of really, really, really good items around here, but... I'm hoping to just brute force it. Um, or rather, I would hope to brute force if you catch the wall like I wanted him to. Well, poo. That's fine, that's fine. I just don't want to go through the entire route, because you're supposed to go through the entire area. Like, they expect you to to make it like a whole hour-long trip throughout this gigantic area, when in reality you really only need a couple spots of it. So yes, yes, it is going to be a thing that takes a few deaths here and there, uh, but once we unlock the area for it, it's, you know, it's pretty simple. We'll see, we'll see. Over here. Alright, now this is the area that we need. It's unfortunately a little bit of an annoyance, because, uh, yeah, you gotta do this kind of thing. And occasionally the platforms will catch you, other times they won't. Oh, you stupid bat, go away. Interestingly, uh, these guys have the grenades that you get as basically part of the death coming in. Oh, be right back again.
Alright, there we go. Got the thingy back. It's a little loud on this end, everyone's being a little bit loud, so I'm just gonna go ahead and speed around it to the finish now.
Alrighty, there we go. That is the second to last boss done. Uh, last area here barely has anything in it. And uh, yeah, then it's just the last guy and then we're done here. And go and silent again. Alright, so interestingly, the uh, last area doesn't actually have a sanctuary in it anywhere. It's like you're literally just in a situation where you're doing a bit of a bit of puzzle jumping and then it's the last guy.
Play and 